Hey, it's Jack. Been a while, huh? Anyways, we did an ultimate bad run, so why not do an ultimate good one? But this time, there's a couple of rules. Serval has to do all the heavy lifting. I can use Alcador occasionally, but Serval has to beat all the bosses. I cannot upgrade Alcador's power stat. This just makes it harder to defeat anything in the late game with them. Anything goes with Serval. I can use spells with Alcador, since some of them are needed to progress. And of course, this is done in classic mode. Now that we went over the rules, let's get into the run. So, Stranger gets thrown into the world. Serval sees all of this happening, questions pretty much nothing and proceeds to follow Stranger. We go to the cursed man, we try to help him, he transforms into... um... that? A good beating later, he falls over and fucking explodes. Hi, how are you? After all of that, nothing too special happened. I went and did some quests for some good rep, XP for Serval's weapons, and money, which allowed me to buy a heart and a much needed gear upgrade. I 360 no scope my way to the Urzen Cathedral and prepared for battle against the big man. Anyways, the Veilshire Keep. Nothing special happened here this time. It all went smoothly. Almost. Got the lightning spell, made it a fatty, beat his ass real good, and stalled on the orb. I expelled the brigands from their camp, and... Oh! Hey, Elsador. What are you doing here? Wait. Where'd he go? We made it to the necropolis, and I decided to give myself a much-needed strength upgrade. Again, nothing of note happened here. I did, however, start using the crossbow a lot, since I started to realize that that thing is pretty strong. And that might be an understatement. Like, look! The bolts just ignore that guy's shield. Occasionally. We got precision strike, went to the bigger fatty, and everything went well. Until it didn't. I got hit like two times and suddenly panic ensues, even though I had two more lives left. Anyways, I beat him up with not a lot of health left, stalled on that ball again and went to pick up my healing spell, because I forgot to pick it up when I expelled the camp. Up next is the basement monster. Thanks to Serpil's crossbow and shield, this was a walk in the park. I was on my way to Arkas, but I got the idea to hit this sick ass jump. So how was I going to do that? First of all, manner. Then, I'll let Serval point his shield upwards. That way, I can use it as a platform. And then I'll shotgun jump, and hopefully, land the jump. I like friends to help me, so I'll use my Solar Amiibo to keep the up arrow pressed in, so Serval will be in position. And then I hit this sick ass jump. Hooray! I dubbed this jump. The, the sick ass circle stranger danger shot by the last jump combo combo super jump of awesomeness. The game also spawned a platform because I couldn't handle this sick ass jump. jump. Bridge time. A potion seller wanted my help in transporting his strongest potions. The potion seller gets murdered by the cult members. Enraged, I avenged the potion seller. I entered Arkos and went to questing for some good rep, money for more gear, spells, and a heart. I encountered a caged thing, and being a man of reason, I tried reasoning with it. Yeah! I failed. Okie dokie, Stormheim Castle. This was probably the dungeon I struggled the most with, due to the sheer amount of those water lizard monster things. Fishman time! I placed both banners down and then shredded fishy with my increased attack speed. I stalled on that ball like I've never stalled on balls before. Up next, I had to deal with a possessed man, so I beat a werewolf, brought a masochist to the church, he did his exorcism and he asked me to come to his secluded church. I ignored them. I proceeded to go to Kostsky and got the magic spell to fight Paimon again. No, not this one. That one. So I've been banished to the Shadow Realm with Paimon. Nope, 
the other one. God damn it. Okay, cost key time now. So, I quest again for money Jeez. and good rap as usual, blah blah blah. We're executing the fucking <laughs> mayor. He did some bad stuff to some friends, and his final words were, Pisses himself. I won't do it again. Great argument, I know. I got called over at Darsop to help Tancred. We got ambushed, but some crossbow spamming later, we defeated the cultists. T asks who we should reinforce. So I said we should reinforce Kostsky. Speaking of Kostsky, Kostka Palace time. It wasn't that hard actually. The crossbow and shield made short work of almost all the enemies. I got a holy charge and made it a cupid, and peep this one, gamers. If you do this with Serval on this attack, he can't hit you. And can you guess what I did after that? That's right, I stalled on that ball again, like a boss. After this, I went to T again, but we were attacked. The cultists threw a rather weak attack on Darsov. I dealt with it, and T had the idea to invade all the cult bases. I thought, yeah, why not? So we struck the first base, but I saw a cool bug just fly downwards, so I followed it. T didn't like that. We went to the second base. I dropped my stranger and had to dive after it. We went into the base, and there we saw T holding Frederick in his final moments. I feel like he had an identity crisis, since he called himself George. Serval asked if Frederick will be okay, and um, no, he's dead. Very dead. And then the final attack. T didn't trust me for some reason? I've been nothing but helpful to you, man. What's your problem? I got forced to enter first. After that, I went after the final armor, and it went pretty good. The banner's speed boost really helped me out a ton. I beat Spider-Man without moving too much from where I initially started. I just moved to turn around. He was kind of easy. The final armor kind of looks like an oversized shirt on Serval, which I thought was pretty funny. While I was at it, I also confronted Robert. And God damn it, I wanted to shoot him. But I got the final weapons upgrade. So, all's good now. So, struggle time. Magic. Mushroom man and that big red man. Swimmer of the green goo. I realized I couldn't make use of my banner since the screen moves. So I used my crossbow and shields to mainly beat it. Hey, you know what time it is? Boop. Yeah, I'm not keeping this tradition going. So, final area. It's literally hell. We met up with number one Thanos fan again, and he got grabbed by the head. Dude, this man can't catch a break. What the fuck? So, hell. There's Thanos. Poor guy. The enemies are rough here. But I have an auto-parrying shield, so I could slowly and steadily defeat the evil that's on my level. And this room is where the fun began. If I go left, I proceed. But I need three keys. Those are obtained from going right and upwards. So, let's go. Oh look, there's a dual Cupid look-alike. Shields counter them hard. They guard one of the keys. There's a skeleton copy with a dash attack. I kind of broke its AI, I think. When I placed both banners and attacked, he just goes underground, spawns behind me, and I repeat the process. So, easy boss. Oh look, this is where you can cheese a key. Go right and hold your shield up. Stranger go up and move to the right for a bit. And BAM! Cheese! And now we go up. Which has a dual... This thing. And this one was surprisingly fun. I hated its little imp babies though. But overall, it was pretty fun and surprisingly a bit challenging. After that, was the dual squid monster. They don't fire their death lasers, unfortunately. I also spotted some potential cheese with the platforms behind them, but I didn't go for it. I wanted to enjoy this fight. Beating them rewarded me with the third and final key. With the power of all three keys, I can finally see the final boss. Oh, and there's this guy. He can... he can just go whoosh and wopow. And ultimately, he was pretty easy to beat. Wow, this room is pretty ominous. There's no music and... Oh! 
Hello. Yeah, I can show these and there it goes. Wow, what a goofy creature. I prepared for the final encounter with Goat Mommy and... Oh lord it be! <laughs> the fight itself isn't hard actually. The bird summons on the other hand are annoying to deal with. And I'm pretty disturbed by it shitting out eyes from its stomach. This attack is really cool though. After that I beat Goat Mummy and... Oh! Alcidor shows up at the end of the game and steals all my glory. And this was the ultimate good run. I still prefer the ultimate bad run in general, but good serval is just way more fun than bad serval. There's just something about his kit that I really love. And now I go dormant again, for who knows how long. That's it. Check out. <laughs>